Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Uh, today, guys, we are going to upgrade my son's Traxxas Max down there somewhere. Um, I recently, guys, broke the arm and a couple other parts on my Crate and 8S. So I had to make an order, guys, with a hobby shop um, from the States because I couldn't find any of the parts here in Canada to fix it. Um, due to high shipping costs, I thought, hey, you know what? If I'm going to place this order and pay, you know, $40 for shipping, I might as well make it worth my while. So uh, ordering the parts for my Crate and 8S, which are over there somewhere, um, I decided to pick up a few parts for my son's truck. Um, I ended up getting the orange turnbuckles uh, to replace the stock plastic ones. But I also bought a set of the new Pro-Line um, low-profile trenchers. So these are the 3.8s, um, a lot smaller than the newer 3.8 tires that Pro-Line's been releasing lately. Um, I will compare them to, for example, those belted bad lines are monsters compared to these. These are more similar to the same size as the Traxxas Max stock wheels and tires. Um, so that is why I picked them up. Um, so what I want to do, guys, is just get straight into unboxing them, checking them out, and get them mounted and get the turnbuckles mounted on the Max. <laughs> guys i didn't think i would uh, make you sit through more footage of me installing those hubs um you know for anybody that doesn't know proline switched to these maybe about a year and a half two years ago um honestly i'm all for this i've only once but it did really suck have a wheel nut um back off and just literally have that hex just destroy this um and it, you know what it wasn't cool because they were like pretty much brand new tires type thing so the nice thing about these is you just have to if that was to happen um all you have to do is re you know purchase replacement these and you're good to go plus proline also has aluminum ones um i have yet not needed the aluminum ones i've had no problem with the plastic ones so i don't see myself um you know moving up to those unless i really really had to um these guys look great um the tread looks awesome. The the low profile, I think, just really, you know, kind of, um, I don't know, sort of sets off the tire. I really, really like the look of this. Uh, and plus the raid wheels look wicked. Um, they are about the same width, I would say, as the stock ones. Kind of hard to tell, but or very, very close. Um, however, they are a little bit taller. So what I'm going to do, guys, though, right now is I'm going to remove the front tires. I'm going to install the orange turn turnbuckles just to get those out of the way. And then what I'll do is um, I'll throw on a set on the front just so that we can get a good side shot of the difference in the size and then uh, finish it up with installing all four.
All right, guys, there you go. Uh, you know, they're a little bit taller, not a lot, but they definitely look good. Um, I also got the orange turn buckles installed now, which also really, really look good. Uh, let me just put the body on. So that definitely looks a lot better. Um, I also, guys, applied in just another decal. I applied the Proline decal to the side of the body just because I, uh, for some reason, the previous owner had removed the Max decal, which to me is, it makes the, the body kind of ugly. This orange, and it's it's so funny, anybody that has a Max right now knows where I'm going with this. This orange here on camera looks orange, like a normal orange, but in person, it's fluorescent orange. And it actually, guys, looks like crap. Um, it, it, it's funny because I had seen, uh, you know, the orange one when these first came out was the, was the popular color to get. And the blue and the red were kind of the eh sort of colors. A friend of mine had got the blue and he had brought it over to show me. And I actually really, really liked it. Um, I still, from just looking at the pictures online and the videos I'd seen online, really liked the orange. Um, until you actually, again, guys, see it in person. This is like such a off fluorescent orange. It really, I don't think there's, uh, there, that kind of shows it a bit more now. Um, still not, still not guys, exactly what it looks like in person. Um, so the body is going to be something I'm going to be changing soon. Um, anyways, guys, sorry for getting off subject there, but I'm going to go ahead now and install the rears and, uh, yeah, guys, I, I'm, I'm definitely guys liking these wheels and tires though. They, they definitely improved the look of the truck. All right. There we go, guys. That looks super sharp. Um, definitely like, you know, that kind of fat look to the rims on this truck. Um, you know, they're not, you know, necessarily like an SRC belted tire where it's kind of all rim. Um, you know, this will still remain fun. You'll still be able to jump and everything like that with these. Uh, they're not belted or anything like that, guys. Um, which I'm okay with, you know, certain, I don't plan on driving this truck very often on 4S. Uh, again, this is my son's. He pretty much just drives it on 2 or 3S. So these tires, even if they balloon a little bit, that'll be all good. And I really like, you know, the fact that they're kind of, um, you know, a bit just you know because of the hub, um, everything you know your your axle and stuff is is recessed into the rim a little bit, so you don't get to see the goofy you know that blue insert and the wheel nut. Um, I will replace these guys at some point soon with you know like a, a standard 17 millimeter hub and hex type thing. I just haven't got around to it yet. Um, a few times I'm on from when I'm ordering from a site type thing, I'll I'll and I think about them. I go in and they always seem to be out of stock. So that is something I'm going to be doing soon. But uh, yeah, guys, this looks really really good. Um, I'm going to take it out now, guys, like always grab some pitch, uh, pictures so that you can kind of get a good idea of how it looks and just how it looks from all the different angles. Uh, I'm not going to be running the truck today. Um, only because it's kind of crappy out right now. It's pouring rain and uh, I just don't feel like going to stand in that. So anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And, uh, anyways, enjoy the pics. Stay safe, guys.